We are mostly working in areas where masonry construction is common. So brick masonry, stone masonry, concrete block masonry. These are the most common building materials we find in the emerging world. Masonry is a brittle material. It can be very deadly in an earthquake because once it cracks, it loses its capacity and it can collapse very easily. Our typical client is a not very wealthy homeowner, and we have two types of clients. We have clients who have already had an earthquake and clients who are likely to experience one in the future. They do have a home or they have access to land to build a home. So we're not working with the absolutely poorest of the poor, but we are working with a segment of the population that doesn't have the resources to hire an engineer to ensure that the builder has the right skills and to make sure that they're purchasing good quality building materials on their own. <laughs> When I started in this industry, the status quo was to give away houses, to basically build the same house for everyone. There were perceptions that this economy of scale would really pay off. There was a, a feeling that this whole process should be rushed, much like the relief phase is rushed. Now, the next 10 years for us is about prevention. How can we work with people to retrofit or strengthen buildings before the next earthquake so the disaster can be prevented completely? I think this is the best way of saving lives, strengthening buildings so that they remain intact in an earthquake. We hire local staff. Over 82% of Build Change employees are from the countries where we work. And they know best what works in these communities. They know the architecture, they know the building materials, they know what problems the builders or engineers may have, and they understand and can relate to the homeowners. So hiring local professionals is the best way to build that knowledge in those relationships with the communities. Plus, it leaves capacity in place. If we work with local engineers and build their skills in how to design and build a safe house, then they'll continue to use that knowledge and to take it with them as they go on to their next career.